Hi, I'm Cheryl. Welcome to Home Ridge Studio. Today we're going to be making this scarecrow lighted globe and this ball uh, lantern. Let's get started. So these are the things that you're going to be needing for the first project, which is the scarecrow globe. A globe from the Dollar Tree. Clean it up really good because we're going to be painting the inside of it or you can use a jar this is a pickle jar that i cleaned out and then we have this funnel i believe it comes in a two pack from the dollar tree and that's going to be part of the scarecrow's hat some embellishments of your choice to decorate the hat some jute twine and this little flameless candle, I think it's a two pack from the Dollar Tree. Any type of ribbon that you like. And these are my paint colors of the season. For some reason, I love these colors. Uh, they're chalk paint, hazelnut, and cashew by Waverly. And then the material for the scarecrow's hat of your choice. So that is from the Dollar Tree. The checkered is from. Walmart and this one on top here is a thrifted napkin that rug is uh, from the Dollar Tree and also you're gonna need some raffia or a hula skirt so to start we're going to take the cashew chalk paint and we are going to paint the inside of this globe and I put down wax paper in case I thought maybe I was going to paint the outside, but then I decided to paint the inside. But the trick with wax paper is if you do paint the outside of something and you put it on the wax paper, it won't stick. So anyway, just give this a really good coat. And I only put one on there because we're going to kind of want to make it look like it's kind of a, um, like a scarecrow's face. You know, it's uh, burlap kind of looking. I don't know what to, I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, you guys know what I mean. So after that's drying, then we're going to take whichever um, material that you want to use and just go ahead and glue it around and inside to form the hat. And don't pull it really tight. I know it looks messy here, but that's okay. It's supposed to be like that. And now I have this from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to put it on the bottom as kind of a rim for its hat. And I just hot glued that around and used my little handy dandy silicone spatula that helps so you don't burn your fingers. And that's what it's going to look like. It's going to fit up on that jar, but I'm going to fold it up to just add a little bit of extra, I don't know, interest, I guess, to the hat. And so just clip it and then glue it while it's clipped down there. And then you can remove the clips and then glue under the clips. And this is what it looks like so far. I know it looks sloppy, but trust me, it's going to get better. And so for the inside, we're going to put this felt. And I just drew a circle around it, um, a little bit bigger than the hat. So don't get the um, Sharpie is what I used. Don't get that obviously on the hat. So cut out a circle. And then we're gonna push it into this hat right here. And then I started hot gluing it in there and then I remembered, oh yeah, I got to put the hair and the hair is going to be this, uh, mm -hmm. this is, sorry, my phone keeps buzzing. So don't glue that felt piece down into the hat because um, we need to put the hair mm -hmm. in there and the hair is either raffia or you can use hula skirt. And this is a hula skirt because I had a bunch of them left over. 
And so go ahead and fold them in half and then in half again, or however long that you want the hair, but um, I folded it in half twice, I believe, and then glue the inside of the cap and then put the straw on it and then hold it down with the little silicone thing there. And so I did that all the way around. And now we're going to take the hazelnut chalk paint and I'm going to paint the inside kind of going up from the bottom going up. So the face kind of looks more, you know, like I said, kind of like it's a material like a burlap or something. And that's what it looks like. Sorry, it's a little bit out of screen, but it was kind of hard for me to film. I film on my phone and it's hard for me to look at my phone and stand on my tiptoes and look down and anyway trim it to your desired liking you can make it longer or shorter you can make this a girl you could probably braid it too that would be cute so um, I did add more by the way more straw for the hair later on because it looks a little I don't know sparse I guess and now I'm just taking the pieces of the hula skirt and I'm flattening them and twisting them and I'm going to glue it right on the top right there. Just hold that for a second for the glue to dry and then I took um, some of the jute twine and I just wrapped it around there just to give it more interest and so you don't see the straw glued onto the top of the hat and then a little dollop of glue there to um, hold the twine in place and then just trim the top off and so I decided I was going to put yet another little piece of ribbon and this is from the Dollar Tree and just hot glue it around the bottom of the cap. I'll just call this a cap, I guess. It's a hat, cap, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that's what it looks like when it's dry, and this is what it looks like together so far. Um, you're going to have a back of the hat or the cap, and um, so look at your globe and determine which side you want to be the face and which side of the cap or the hat that you want to be in the back. And so here's what I did with this. I struggled with this. I tried to etch it in the glass. I tried to draw, draw it on the glass. I think the best thing to do first is before you paint that globe, you draw your face on a piece of paper. I just went and looked, Googled faces I drew it on the piece of paper, put it inside the globe before you paint the globe. And then you can copy it with the Sharpie, the black Sharpie there. That's the best way to do it. I tried scratching on a face with the toothpick. I tried everything. And then I actually redid this face 10 times. I'm a decent drawer. I mean, I went to college for design and whatnot. And this was hard. It's hard to put your hand in the globe and to draw so anyway enough about that um, so now is the fun part we get to embellish the cap the hat why do I keep saying cap I don't know anyway so a little patch and then another little lighter piece of material for the top of that and I just kind of pulled it apart so it looks like it's fraying a little bit and I added a little bit more straw in there to the front if you want bangs and then just trim it up Little, a little twig in there and some a raffia bow not raffia bow um, it's a jute twine bow on top I did a double bow and that's what it looks like but in the end you'll see I trimmed it up a little bit more and like I said I put more hair in there because it looked a little sparse like I said um, and then that's it you just take the candle obviously you don't want to use a real candle in here but I do have to say that 
um, and this is what it looks like. It's really cute. Even my husband looked at it and he's like, oh, that's so cute. But I did not like that face, so I redid it. I like it much better now. And it's sitting on my counter. And my husband did notice that one, by the way. Anyway. Oh, and you can see my scratches, how I tried to scratch a face on, and then I tried to scratch some... Anyway, I don't know. It didn't work. So I repainted the inside a little bit too. Anyway, enough about that. This is the next project. And this is a fall lantern. This lantern I thrifted. It was $5.99. And I know I got it for 50% off because I usually wait. I usually don't buy things because our thrift stores here in Michigan, I don't know about you guys, they're like, they're pricey. They're getting pricey. I mean, I could go buy something brand new for almost the same price. Anyway, I was looking at the bottom of this to see if I had a clue where it came from. And I don't know, I couldn't tell. But anyway, somebody bought it, didn't like it, thrift, uh, thrifted it, or I thrifted it. So now you want to um, see what, you know, determine what your focal point is going to be. Do you want it to be a pumpkin? Do you want it to be a critter like this owl? And these are all from the Dollar Tree. These candles, they have tall, thin ones, the flameless candles. And then they also have the shorter flameless candles too. So just determine what you want that middle piece to look like. So here I'm going to determine how tall I want my candle. Am I going to use one of these foam dice to uh, put it, you know, rise it higher? Or floral foam you can if you're going to put picks in there. Here's some leaves that I love, these faux leather leaves. They have two different kinds, I think that maple and the oak leaf. Um, pit berries, and all these picks are from the Dollar Tree. And those are the really pretty peach color leaves with the pumpkins and the berries on them. I love those, my favorite. And uh, these are from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. So I just pulled out from my stash all the different types of ribbon that will actually match those leaves and sometimes if you go to Hobby Lobby and you look in their clearance section you can get ribbon cheaper than what you can get at the Dollar Tree so the, this is my um, these are my selections right here and they all match they match the leaves and there's that velvet pumpkin that's kind of a green color and that orange one and it all matches the owl and everything but I don't end up using the owl or the orange pumpkin but I do use the green one so I'm gonna glue see where the writing is I'm gonna glue that to the bottom obviously for obvious reasons and I'm gonna use the short can flameless candle And I'm just, you know, looking at it, eyeing it to make sure that's about how tall I want it. And it is. So we'll get rid of the other candle and we will um, start gluing first just the leaves down. Not the berries and not the pumpkins, but just the leaves all around the bottom. And yes, do not use your scissors. Please use wire cutters because you will ruin your scissors. Um, like I said in a, another video, you can actually pull the leaves off. I started cutting them and then I realized that I don't need to do that. I'm just going to glue them right down to the lantern and I didn't need that wire from the stem in there so I just started pulling the leaves off. And you just put them all around the bottom and you're hiding that um, foam cube there. And then the pit berries and you want to put one on each side if you put one on one side put one on the other side but don't put them exactly the same way kind of mix it up a little bit maybe one's down and maybe one's up same thing with the pumpkins and I use the little orange pumpkins and then the little white pumpkins that I had these are again all from the Dollar Tree and here I'm just trying to determine what pick I want to use and I liked this color but then I noticed it looked kind of like an octopus I didn't like that 
but I started adding the little greenery that came with that and then I clipped down those um, pieces that are sticking out. And now it's time for the ribbon. And I apologize, I made this bow. I'm not the best bow maker, but I made it and my footage uh, got deleted somehow. I've been having problems with my phone camera. So I, it's a storage problem and my camera keeps shutting off. So anyway, um, basically I took, I think five different types of ribbon and I just, you fold them over, fold them over like three times or four if you want. And then you just put them on top of each other. And then I zip tied it in the middle. And then the most important thing is just fluff it. You just fluff it and fluff it and fluff it. And even when you're all done with your project, you're gonna probably fluff the bowl again. Anyway, um, I would put it, I would tie this on with a chenille stick or a pipe cleaner. I had glued it on, I don't know why, I just did. And I wanted to use these leaves, these leather leaves, so I put them in there too. I don't really think that was necessary, um, but because you really can't see them too much, you're looking more at the candle, that's the focal point. But I don't know, I wanted to use them. And then trying not to hot glue that um, handle of the lantern down um, carefully. Just glue your leaves or flowers. You can use flowers or you can use both down. And then after I was done doing all that, I took these pit berries and you can wrap them around a pencil. That's probably a better idea. I wrapped them around my finger and this does not have to be perfect because, you know, stems and leaves are not perfect and they're not a perfect spiral and, you know, just make it, to make it look interesting and more natural, um, you know, pull some straight, have a couple spirals, pull it straight, and this is what it looks like when it's done, and I, I tied them on top of the hand. That's what it looks like, and I'll give you a better picture in a second. This is sitting on my table with the flameless candle lit. And I added that green pumpkin on there that I didn't show you in the picture, and I have another ribbon that I added on there too. And I just put a little glass pumpkin next to it. And if you're interested, I got that at Home Goods, and it was $9.99. I'll show you that in a second. And here is that scarecrow paired with just a Dollar Tree pumpkin and there's two of those faux leaves on there and the candle is actually lit in the, in the scarecrow but you can't see it because it's early morning outside and the light was coming through my front window and you can see I redid the face because I wasn't happy with it. Um, and then that floral in the back is from Jessica Lynn at home I believe. I made that a few years ago so that's her uh, design, not my design, but I just wanted to let you know. Um, you could go to her channel and see how to make that. That was really cool. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my video and have a very blessed day. Bye!